Hi, I'm Namrata from Informatica Global Customer Support. In this presentation, we will see how to ingress hierarchy data using file import in Customer 360 SAS. Agenda is to give an overview of the hierarchy model and using file import, we will create or update the hierarchy. So what is a hierarchy model? A hierarchy model consists of a collection of hierarchy relationship between business entities. For example, an organization hierarchy model shows the relationships from the organization business entity to a person business entity. Each business entity in a hierarchy model should be well connected to the top level business entity directly or through other business entities. You may create as many number of relationships as you need to represent a hierarchy model. You can also define additional attributes to allow users to provide information about the relationship. We can design hierarchy model in Business 360 console. In the hierarchy designer, define your own relationships. An additional attribute for a relationship can be added if required. This is a sample hierarchy model which has been created in the Business 360 console. To add the records into the hierarchy, we can log into Customer 360 and from the UI, we can create a hierarchy instance and then add root and child levels into this hierarchy instance. So in this presentation, we will see using a file input, how we can create or update the hierarchy records. In order to do that, we would first need to create a hierarchy instance. To create a hierarchy instance, we would need hierarchy instance source key key, hierarchy instance name, and also we would need the root source key key and the root source system. To create a relationship, we would need a parent source key key and source system record details and a child source key key and child source system details and a relationship source key key. The relationship source key key should be unique across the hierarchy. We will see how to map all these fields in the demo. So to create a hierarchy model, log into Business 360 console. Simply click on New Model Hierarchy and then Create. For the demo purpose, we already have a hierarchy model created, which is between an organization and person. So there is one relationship created between organization to person, which is called as HCO to HCP. And also we have additional attributes added which is active indicator and other self relationship created with an organization with a relationship name called as HCO to HCO and HCO to second HCO. You can name the relationship name as per your requirement. Like this, you can create n number of relationship between the business entities. Once the hierarchy model is created in Business 360 console, log into Customer 360 and here under Hierarchies, we will be able to see the hierarchy which has been created. So before we could go into the file input, I will quickly show how to create a hierarchy instance and add records from the UI. So to add records into the hierarchy, we will first have to create a hierarchy instance. To create a hierarchy instance, simply click on plus. So select the hierarchy for which you want to create a hierarchy instance, then click on create. For a testing purpose, I've already created a hierarchy instance. So during the file import, we will have to pass to create a hierarchy instance, the source key key, the source key key and the source system and the name of a hierarchy instance. So these three fields are important to create a hierarchy instance.
So let's go to file import and quickly import a hierarchy records. Browse the CSV file. Select the file that you would want to import and select the source system that you would want the hierarchy instance to be created for. Click next and here map the fields to the hierarchy. Let's select the hierarchy that we had created. Here to create a hierarchy instance as mentioned we would need hierarchy instance source key key, the name, description if you require and the level and hierarchy source key key and root source primary key and root source system is nothing but the top level record details in this I am passing this organization one record and the source system. So if I consider this example here the top level record is the organization record. So if I open this record the source PK and source system is what I am passing. Here the source key key is organization 1 and source system is CRM. So this is the top level details which I am passing here root source key key and root source system. Next we will have to map the relationship details. Relationship is nothing but to create between the organization and organization 2 to add a child to a top level node. So here to create a HCO to HCP relationship, we need to have a parent source primary key and we have to map to a child source primary key. Here my parent source primary key is the top node which is organization 1 for which I am creating adding a child source primary key from a person business entity which is a test record 10 and its corresponding source systems. You can also map for the additional attributes that we have created and relationship will have a source primary key which should be unique across the hierarchy. So here I have in this example I have uh, concatenated the parent source primary key with the child source primary key along with the relationship name to keep it unique. You can choose to keep. You can have your own logic to create a relationship source primary key. Similarly, let's map HCO to HCO relationship as well. HCO parent primary key, child primary key, source system, child source system and a relationship primary key. Once the mapping is done, we can click next. So here it shows all the details of hierarchy instance which we are creating HCO to HCP and HCO to HCO. Before we import let me delete the instance that I have created here and uh, quickly perform a file import. Now the RRK instance has been deleted. Let's newly import it. The job has been triggered. Let's wait for the job to complete. 
So now the job has been completed. This will give you the metrics of how many records we have loaded into the hierarchy. And also in the load step, it will give you the breakdown of uh, each relationship and uh, the hierarchy instance, the total number of records that have been loaded. Let's go to the hierarchy and view the instance that we have created using file import. Go to hierarchy and refresh the hierarchy tab. And here is the test instance which has been created now. So as mentioned, the system field CRM and instance source PK got added here. And uh, this source P key from the source system customer 360 got added into this XREP because earlier we deleted this test instance from the UI. So from the UI, any edit that we make, it gets added with the customer 360. So this XREP is still retained and then that is why we are able to see her. Now open. So these are the records that we imported just now with our file import. So we have added one top level node organization under which we have two child records, which is organization two, which has a HCO to HCO relationship and a test record 10, which has a HCO to HCP relationship. And again, under organization two, we have added two more records which has organization 3 and test record 2. So in this way we can add n number of records into the hierarchy using file import. We have reached to end of our demo. Hope this was useful. We have knowledge based articles on hierarchy related. You can take a look at them on some of the known issues. We would love to hear from you. You can tweet us or you can also write to us at supportvideo at informatica.com. Thank you.